need another shot of this. Morning everyone. Toy Smuggler here. Sorry I'm not being loud or I'm drinking coffee. Not trying to be rude, but it's 4 a.m. No, about 4.20. So Toy Smuggler can't be as loud as intense as I usually am. Don't want to wake up the wife and my little girl. But not end up well. But just giving y'all a quick update. What's going on? Sorry for a slow video coming out, but uh Tis the season, getting ready for the holidays. Uh, any, usually the toy smuggler uh, between Halloween month and going all the way up for the new year is just crazy months for me. A lot of, a lot of commissions I'm working on. Uh, working on, as you see, I got an alien here. Had to fix this for Battlegrounds comics and games. So definitely uh, you know, the restorations are going up now that people know that I'm doing it. So this is going to give you all a quick update on the on the power of play. Got some cool information for you guys. And I want to kind of give you a quick update what's going on the next week or so. Well, concerning the power of play toy museum. So far it's getting received very well. A lot of great com comments and stuff. Uh, a lot of great questions. And uh, one of the first couple of things I want to talk about it and I'm going to go more in detail as the videos go is that we have a uh, PayPal account set up for it where if you want to make any kind of donation from a 50 cents to a dollar whatever you want to do we're not here to pressure anybody on a certain amount I am working on a type of rewards plan so for anyone who donates now and by the time I actually come up with the rewards plan what, and when I come up with it, uh, I will go back and honor those people who, who donated early. So so don't worry about that. I just, the rewards thing is always, I don't know, I never did like Kickstarters at all. So uh, I've done one or two and just, I, so I'm kind of doing it that way, but I'm not going to go through a Kickstarter format. I don't like going through other companies snatching, you know, you're doing all the work, you're doing all the advertising, but yet they're getting a profit of it just because you're sitting on their site. And I was just like, man, I don't like that. So, so, but I do, I love the idea and like Patreon and all. I love all that. I just don't like that you have to go through them to do it. And I just don't understand why. Because you can, I can run to my own Patreon and not ever be on Patreon. There's, there's, there's just no use for that middle party to get funding off that. It's just, just retarded. So, so anyway. So in the way you can donate to the PayPal address, and it's the, it's the new, it's called the Power of Play at Outlook.com, and that's their email address, it's official email, and that's the official PayPal. So any kind of donation, go ahead and make it, and then like I said, somewhere down the line, if I create a rewards program, uh, I will go back and honor it to anybody who's donated before that. So, so. I will do that. I'm just not sure how I'm laying out the rewards, and I never was a big one on rewards too. <laughs> so I know you think I can toy smuggler. You're just you know no. It's just I think if you truly believe in something that you will want to help, you know, be a part of it, you shouldn't need a some kind of reward to do so. Either you feel it in your gut or your heart to be a part of this, or you don't. And, you know, and, and that's where I'm at. So. But I, I'm going to make it because that's just how everybody's used to it being done. So I, I will do that. So I just got to figure it out. So so if anybody's got any suggestions for any kind of rewards on this whole deal, please drop a line. So, and the other big thing concerning the power of play, you know, of course, December 14th, Battlegrounds Comics and Game is our first little Kickstarter fundraiser deal. There's going to be many of these, and uh, Michael French from Retro Blasting is going to be there. So that's, I'm so excited about that uh, and everything. So, I mean, Michael's just a great guy. Look forward to having him come to Dalton and kind of share to everybody, you know, what's going on on his side of the fence on the toy, in toy industry and talking about vintage toys. So that's just going to be so much fun. We should be live streaming that day, and I'm also recording it. So so if you do miss it, we will have it up on YouTube uh, in probably two different places. So so that's all good news. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's very early in the morning. So so anyway, and the other good news is if you would uh, like to be a part of this and donate any kind of toy, uh... You got two that you can either bring it by physically to Battlegrounds, Comics Game, Dalton, Georgia, 
or you can uh, mail it to them. All you gotta do is put Battlegrounds. I'll flash the ad address up here. I'm gonna put this address probably at the beginning and I'm gonna have it up now and then I'll have it up at the end of the video so you can pause on it and uh, write it down. But you can also mail it to Battle Let's put Battlegrounds, put their address on it and then somewhere in a corner or real big on the side or whatever, just put the power of play. Just put that on there for Big Sharpie. And uh, Michael and them, they're graciously, they're going to be hosting the spot where all that's going to be kept and everything. They give me a call and I'll come up and I'll deal with it and stuff. So very nice of them to, you know, offer their space because well, y'all yeah, see in my last video, well, they got a ton of stuff. So it's very nice of them in the, to uh, allow it to help us out on that, uh, the, the holding of it and getting ready until we get our building and everything. So, I mean, because it's, it, it may take a while to get a building. So, I mean, but they're super nice guys and like i said we really work great together as you can see you know we got a great relationship going here they get a lot of cool stuff but sometimes it's been you know rough handled and i get it back to where you guys can get something as cool as this and save a lot of money and not get it direct from hot toys or whatever you'll save a bundle so check those guys out and ask them questions or anything you know and a couple uh project here i just want to touch base with you guys and uh, like i said obviously i just got this done last night but i am working on i don't know if i ever mentioned this to everybody but this is just for me <laughs> and i'm a huge dungeons and dragons and you know of course mo2 fan so i actually got a triclops from he-man here and what i've done is i am designing a war duke out of him so i kind of got inspired to do this with that new uh is it prime evil you know, with the Batman, the Wonder Woman, the Scare uh, Scarecrow, and all that. But they did. I think they did the Thundercats as well. And, and all th I think all of that was pretty cool. I did not like the uh, the monster guys, this Freddy Krueger and Jason. I, I think the Jason looked all right, and but the rest of them, I, I don't know. This Freddy Krueger beefed up muscles just didn't look right. So, but I thought War Duke, what a perfect character that could fit into the Motu world. So, so I'm already. I done some sculpting here in the arm and, and redid a hand and and stuff. So I can't wait to finish out the helmet and stuff, and then design all the chest thing. I think that's going to be really cool. So, and another quick update is uh, uh, this week. I think either later tonight or tomorrow, I will be recording the Dagobah. So uh, I sculpted my own Dagobah before, and I got, I'm going to be doing a vintage review on on the old one. So. So I always loved that playset. Uh, I always thought the whoever the artist was who sculpted it was just uh, just amazing. So it's done a lot of amazing craftsmanship. But the other thing is I'm gonna turn this camera around here and get behind the camera and show you something really cool I'm working on. So let's check it out. Gotta get one more of these. Uh, All right, guys, here we go. Yes, it is a, almost a four foot long java's palace and i actually have started this several years ago i actually had it it was slightly bigger and i just really didn't have any kind of place to you know put it so i kind of scaled down the blueprints and stuff and like i said i'm going to be i'm redesigning a lot of this uh finally got some better photos that's popped up on google over the years so but what has inspired me to do this is the Star Wars the the vintage collection and they just come out with a Java's Palace diorama set and I'm getting ready to try to get the camera in here to show it to you bear with me here as you can see right in there boom I just love this new piece they came out with so I just found it at Walmart today so boom rip the sidewall off and really going in there and checking this baby out I mean I really love how this is looking I did not um, I'm actually getting rid of the figures at Battlegrounds to help pay for it because this thing was 50 bucks at Walmart and that's one thing I really don't like because as cool as this is uh, it could only been 24 or 25 dollars if they didn't force you to buy the two figures with it I, I just really didn't like that so I don't kind of get in here and kind of show you some of the other cool details so I got a lot of neat things going on here. I'm going to be ripping the back wall behind Jabba out. And uh, got a cool print I'm going to be doing to kind of give it that three, better 3D look and stuff. And uh, 
I'm going to be changing one of the stairwells because one of them goes down and the other one goes up. And I can't remember. I think this this one over here goes up. So I'm going to be changing that. And it's really going there and put all the cool details. And I'm adding lights to this. I'm going to be embedding Christmas lights in this thing so you can plug it up to the wall and, and everything. And I end up using the extra side wall here. So I'm going to be adding that on and stuff. Give it a really cool. We'll see if I can't give it a nice little view like this here. Hold on one second. Change the lighting here. Let's see, there we go. Let's see if you can get a good shot of that there. So I think it'd be pretty neat. Like I said, I got this cool grating here. I'm gonna put on. See, I can. And I got a cool little electrical fan I can put on it to kind of give this kind of motion look to it and stuff. So, see here. Got that. That's probably going to be taken out. I'm going to add something cool in there and stuff. So, you got a lot of little neat, cool things going on with it. Like I said, I'm going to make some changes on how the, the, the braces go and stuff like that. But other than that, I think I'm off to a great spot. I got to put the floor grading in and stuff. But I think all in all, um, the biggest thing is I'm having a blast with this. And that's what I told, always told you guys. Do what you love doing. And do what you just enjoy. So, and also I was going to give you a quick update. As you can see here, I've got a Falcon for Battlegrounds I'm redoing. <coughs> and two of the things that's always missing on this big Legacy Falcon is this Smuggler Hatches. And I wish I had a set of these to where I can just silicone mold them and you know perfectly reproduce them but unfortunately we cannot get our hands on them without spending a ridiculous amount of money so what did the toy smuggler do sculpted them from scratch from wax so so that's what's going on let me kind of see if i can get a closer up a little here see it. it's a bit hard to focus in here there we go so as you can see here all this has been hand sculpted out of wax so it's not going to be 100 percent perfect but i did think i hit it 90 percent close so there you go that's in the project i'll give you all a quick little shot here of the the art room here let's see if i can get it to focus in here here we go give you all a quick little shot here this is where i do some of my drafting and stuff like that and this is a a model that i've done i'm actually working on it as well is it off bane of the werewolf so get some light in here on that it's a really cool mad scientist lab and i'm actually working on a four inch scale common room for the millennium falcon so that's going to be my next project i finish out and stuff got a lot of it's full of junk and parts that i got in it you can see here here's my mo2 collection here going to make some changes on the shelving on it and stuff and like i said boom a little workshop table and then boom the coup de gras this is where I hang out all the time. So I've got everything at my disposal. And like I said, this is just the art room. And then you go back there to where my storage and stuff is. And this is my secondary computer that I got here for playing YouTube while I'm working or looking up materials when I need it. Or have a movie playing in the background. That kind of cool stuff. So let's turn this camera back around. I'll give you the final updates. And we'll go from there. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the little tour there. Hope you enjoyed the Java's Palace, the, the Frankenstein's little scientist lab going on in the common room of the Falcon. You know, there's a lot of great projects. The toy smuggler just got to have some fun, you know, kind of get this, you know, it gets real stressful. You know, people don't understand how stressful it is being an artist. You know, you're supposed to come right here and, you know, this is my escape and this is where I'm supposed to do what I love. But just sometimes the projects just get this, <laughs> everything gets overwhelming. So, but just once again, just want to remind everyone, uh, like, uh, December 16th, this coming weekend, I'm going to be here at the Dalton Library. Yeah, we got a little convention going on called PineCon. First ever edition of that we're doing. I'm trying to help out. I'm going to be there talking about the film industry. And I'm going to be talking about Paranormal Chasers. And if you don't know what Paranormal Chasers is, that is a comic book series that I did many years ago. And I did nine issues of it. And then later on, I turned it into a four movie series. So the first two movies were exactly an hour and three minutes long. The third movie 
Legend of the Black Cross. It was just six minutes shy of two hours, and it starred uh, Santiago Cirillo uh, from The Walking Dead, and he also starred in my fourth movie, Soul the Angel Fire, which turned out to be, I think, an hour and 35 minutes long. So all in all, you know, over five hours worth of movies, and I did all that in under three years. So great accomplishment, I think. It really pushed me <laughs> to the brink of exhaustion and uh, being psychotic. <laughs> so, but it... And that's what you got to do, folks. You got to do projects, A, for the love of it, and to push you we're into realms that you're not really comfortable in to grow. And that's what I love doing. I love doing that and taking up on that impossible challenge. And uh, speaking of Paranormal Chaser, well, wait for I leave that. This summer at the library, the Toy Smugglers are going to be doing what you call theatrical reading program. Yes, Toy Smugglers are going to be reading the kids. I'm going to be talking to them about reading, writing, and creating their own worlds this summer and stuff like that. So I really look forward to getting with them and inspiring young kids to get into, you know, this reading and writing and creating their own worlds and just being creative. So I'm very much looking forward to that. That should be a blast this summer. And like I said, uh, going back to Paranormal Chasers, uh, in two weeks right here, we're having a five-year reunion. Uh, it's five years ago that we filmed movie one and two. So we're looking at bringing the original core gang together, and uh, we started also uh, five years ago. We started recording number three. So Santiago's going to be coming down from Nashville to join us. So a little get together in honor of all the people who helped made that happen. So I'm I'm very much looking forward to that. So and also like I said, don't forget December fourteenth, first fundraiser ever at the Battlegrounds comics and game for the power of play. You know, like I said, Michael French from Retro Blasting is going to be there. So please don't forget about that. Please come and join us. And like I said, don't forget we have a Facebook page, The Power of Play, and email and the uh, PayPal. If you want to make any kind of donation, $1 and up, just uh, send it to The Power of Play at Outlook.com. And like I said, don't forget if you like to uh, donate a toy for the museum. Just uh, mail it or physically come by Dalton uh, in Dalton to Battlegrounds and you can drop it off there. And like I said, if you mail it, it's on somewhere on the side. Just put real big Sharpie Power Play. Michael and Jason over there at Battlegrounds will know exactly what to do with it. So like I said, once again, I hope you enjoyed the little studio. I'll get to show you all more next time. But uh, like I said, just uh, toy smokers, I'm just staying busy and, and trying to just get back to doing what I love. And I, and I love just creating things. So. And oh yeah, and uh, coming up uh, before this week, I uh, we'll, should be getting done with the Dagobah video. So I hopefully we'll have that done and rendered and deliver that to you guys sometime this weekend. So that's my goal. So hope I have a non-crazy week. So like I said, hope everyone enjoy. Kevin the Toy Smuggler, catch you later.